What's up, everybody? As you can see, we've gone full on mental here for the holidays at Create Now, Sleep Later. And so has Wacom, apparently, who has addressed the fan noise issue with the Cintiq Pro 24 and 32 inch and provided a firmware fix. Now, if you guys recall, early on in the spring, we started talking about this on the channel when the Cintiq 24 Pro was first released. I did uh, talk to Wacom support. And at the time, they told me there was really nothing they can do about it. And I asked them if there was anything they can do via firmware to provide an option to turn those fans off. And apparently, they've done so. And I'm going to show you really quickly how to do that coming up in a second. Okay, folks, first thing we're going to do is open up the Wacom Desktop Center. Under updates, you should see a firmware update that goes from 1.4.0 to 1.5.0. That's what you're going to need. Now, to run this firmware update, you're going to have to make sure the Cintiq is plugged into a steady power source. You don't want it shutting off. The second thing is you're going to want to make sure that the USB cable, you know, the data cable to the PC or your laptop is there's no interruption. There's no chance it's going to get yanked out of there during the update. Number three, once you click next, next, and this firmware update starts, you don't want to touch the Cintiq. If you have the touch model, you don't want to touch the mouse. You don't want to touch the pen. Make sure it's out of your way. You don't want to do anything at all to interrupt this firmware update or you risk bricking your Cintiq for, for life. That's it. It's, it's dead. It's toast. This thing will go pretty quickly. Um, unfortunately, Camtasia didn't capture the finish mark, but it does pop up with a box and let you know it's finished. You do not have to reboot after. Once it's complete, really easy. Again, you open the Wacom Desktop Center. Okay, you click on your Cintiq 24 or 32, or whatever you have. You're going to go down to Display Settings, and you're going to have to wait for this goofy thing to run. Once it's done its thing, you are going to see in the bottom now, under Advanced, a new setting that wasn't there before, and that is Fan Speed Auto. Now, Auto is the default, so that's going to be running like crazy. You're going to pick low speed and then you're going to hit OK. You're going to hit save. And once this thing is done, that's all you need to do to slow these fans down and get yourself some peace and quiet for the holidays. So I hope that helps. This is a, a much needed and much appreciated um, change by Wacom. Again, listening to the customer feedback and providing options. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Please like, subscribe, all that stuff, and have a happy holidays.